The first one is NumPy. You know, we've actually done many, many NumPy uh, operations already, right? We use like a lot of functions already, and then pandas. So these are the two main libraries. The first one say we can use NumPy first, right? And then we can even use NumPy array to actually create 2D array and then to represent a matrix. So say we start with this, right? One, two, three, right? So you have this as just an NumPy array. So we can look at, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Look at the type of it. It says NumPy uh, ND array. So that means like it's, uh, you know, multiple dimension and dimensional array right so um, so you know this is our a right so what if we want to do like the a dot you know uh, transpose so this will actually give us a transpose right one four two five three uh, three six right um, and then if we want to transpose it back then it's gonna be our original a so the same thing would do B right so and then here is actually a really good um, you know very useful np dot dot and then you do you're taking a dot product of a right so a pretty much a times b but you have to do b dot transpose because remember in matrix multiplication you have to have the number of uh, columns right matching with the number of rows in the second uh, matrix so the first matrix number of columns should match with the second matrix number of rows so that's why you have to take the transpose and then you know you get this right so now I'll say I want to create another matrix, right? That's gonna be like say, you know, I want to take the, you know, every number to the power of two and then create that as a matrix, right? And then, you know, you can actually do it this way. So C, remember, it's like, it's one to the power of two, two to the power of two, so four, three to the power of two, so that's like nine. So, or you can do, do something like, you know, if I want to create D is equal to, you know, A minus one, right? So this will give me, um, right so zero one two, right so you're subtracting one from each so that's why NumPy is very very useful because you can do this type of it's called broadcasting right so you can do this uh, and then when you do this it's going to be applied to every element in this uh, array to the array right so uh, as you can see uh, you can actually do many many things with this but let's see one you know one of the example is c dot diagonal right so you can do so this will tell you the diagonal element so c is uh, you know one four six and and, and so because it's not like this is a two by three matrix so the diagonal is going to be 125 right so if you have actually say if we construct something that's more like you know um, say um, you know c2 is equal to np dot array of um, you know, something like uh, one, two, three, and then I'm gonna do uh, one, two, three, and I'm gonna do like another two, no, this, right? So this is actually going to be three by three, right? So what if we look at C2 dot diagonal, it's gonna be, give us um, one, two, five. So you can actually see, okay, this is our diagonal, one, two, five, right? So great, so now let's say we can then convert this, remember this A right now is uh, 2D array, right? NumPy 2D array, but we can actually convert it to matrix. So this MP, uh, NumPy has a matrix uh, representation as well. So you can actually just do it this way. And now let's look at A, right? So A, I mean, it looks the same except for this is array, this is matrix. So that's the only difference, right? So you, know, you can actually look at the type of it and then it's gonna tell you, yes, it's a matrix, it's not an array, right? So do the same thing for B and C, and now this is like actually another function that you can use, returns indices of elements that are non zeros right? So let's look at A again. Uh, so our A is like this, right? So you can see it's actually, everything is non-zero. So it's going to be just returning everything, right? So, and then, um, a, um, a minus B, right? So this will just tell you the difference between A and B, right? Because the, the, both are matrix, therefore the, the end uh, product will become uh, a matrix as well. So plus, you can actually do A plus, uh, a plus B, and then A dot, uh, A dot B, right? Remember how we did the dot product. We took NP dot, right, in here. NP dot dot, and then A comma B uh, dot transpose, right? So we got the same thing in here right compared but this is array however how we did it